How to Make Beef Jerky. If you crave a juicy steak but are short on time, this guide will show you how to cure and dry your favorite meats and enjoy them on the go. You will need two pounds of red meat, two thirds of a cup of Worcestershire sauce, two thirds of a cup of soy sauce, two teaspoons of black pepper, two teaspoons of onion powder, one teaspoon of liquid smoke, one teaspoon of red pepper flakes, and one tablespoon of honey. Equipment, two resealable plastic bags, a cooling rack, tin foil, a baking pan, and an oven or food dehydrator. Step one, trim as much fat from the meat as possible to prevent it from getting rancid after it is cured. Then freeze it for at least an hour before slicing. Use the leanest red meat you can find, such as flank steak or brisket. Although wild game like venison or bison works well too. Step two, slice the meat into thin quarter inch strips as uniformly as possible to make for even drying. Step three, combine all of the ingredients in one of the resealable plastic bags and mix well. Then add the strips of meat and refrigerate the bag overnight. Marinate for as little as three hours for a lighter flavor or for as many as 24 hours for stronger flavor. Step four, drain the meat and place it on a cooling rack over a foil lined baking pan. Let the meat warm to room temperature before curing. Step five, cure the meat in the oven at 200 degrees until it's dry and chewy, about an hour and a half, or cure it in a food dehydrator according to the manufacturer's directions. If you're using an oven, prop the door open to allow excess heat to escape to avoid cooking the meat. Step six, allow the jerky to cool before placing it in the other resealable bag and storing in a cool, dry place. Did you know? Retail sales of meat snacks like jerky and beef sticks more than quadrupled between 1995 and 2006.